Hello and welcome back to another video. Now, I know I've been gone a while, about four weeks, but not many drops have happened that I've been able to go for. It's been a, a pretty dry start of January and December hasn't been great. Didn't get mockers. As you can see, I have a bot in front of me. Now, as you can probably tell from the title, we are going to be going over solid bot now the solid bot have had a pretty big updates recently i've kind of had my eye on them from the start i can't lie um but they are a very eu focused bot not so uk focused however they've added offspring um but i definitely think it's a reasonably priced bot um it's on the lower end of the market and i think it's really good so we're gonna have a look at it today so first of all one thing i want to say about this bot this has the nicest user interface ever i mean first of all creating tasks is the simplest thing ever literally Create a new task, click up here, you have a lovely fade, okay? I like this stuff, I love seeing this stuff. And then you have a calendar, you even have a search bar. And as you can see, all this is kind of scheduled stuff. So you can also reload this. They do actually update this. And I love to see that because I know in quite a few bots, they don't actually update the pre-made list they have. So this is really good. As you can see, shock drop, shock drop, shock drop. So this is all stuff that will release on shock drop. You can just quickly go here, start a task. Um, or as you can see, they just schedule, they even tell you the date, which is great. I'm a very forgetful person. I don't even know when releases are happening. This, this, this saves me sometimes. I can't lie. Um, but now, as you can see, most of these, in fact, all these are snipes. Now, if you've ever bought snipes before, you need to know, you need to have the pids. Um, but with snipes, you have sizing pids. So here's an example on the screen up there. And you'll see there's loads of different numbers and it's just something that's annoying however this speeds up massively because whenever there's shock drops i always have to go back to the snipes pit get them copy them put them into the folder take off the sizings at the end it takes a while however with this as you can see here you click here this has a pid already for you um and you don't actually need to add on the sizing it does it itself which is i mean i cannot even express how helpful that is that is i mean for me a game changer um, and just getting your tasks set up quickly, which you need to on shock drops or if you wake up last minute for drops like I do um, And don't start the night before But as you can see snipes do have quite a few shock drops especially your mids which are super profitable at the moment I mean these guavas were insane. You can see these actually like selling on eBay for 400 500 pounds. I mean That's insane uh, But as you can see you just press next and then you can select the sizing so I've already ran this so you can see it's here but you can clear and you can select custom sizes here or you can just press the full button which i don't think was here i think this is, was a pretty late update because i saw this and was very happy i'll tell you that because i used to have to check and tick them all but this full you select that check on paypal checkout um and yeah you run as you can see you have normal and backup mode i genuinely don't know what backup mode does so i cannot comment on that uh but what you do you select your profile here you can see i only have two and you select your proxies. I've got quite a few there. And then you run. So back on this front screen here, you have list. Now this is, as it says here, coupons. And then this list here is accounts. So if you want to run specific accounts, maybe you want to collect some snipes points, you can do that. Um, if not, don't worry. It does work without accounts. You can also change the monitor delay. The standard's fine from what I can tell. Uh, you also have auto stop, auto start. So if we were creating a task for this UNC dunk that is releasing soon, as you can see, we literally, everything is already ticked for us. You can change the location here and the store. Uh, but this is if you're going to create a task. But we're just clicking here, clicking next. Um, and this is how I would create it. Enable PayPal. Select, I want to run my German address and curve card. Select some DC proxies. And then go. I mean, it really is that easy. And as you can see, I press that add button twice. And you can see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 sizes, 11 tasks. That's how it works here. And I press that twice. So as you can see, we have 22, 22 tasks, one profile. And as you can see here, times two, times two, times two, times two on each size. And then you can, you know, you can customize it all you want. But I love this layout. I mean, I'm a big CLI fan, but when a UI is this nice, it's hard not to actually admire it. Um, from a user perspective, it makes it a lot easier, quicker, and more efficient to use. And I do think that could actually contribute towards success because it's just quicker on shock drop. You have the classic import tasks, export tasks here. Um, that's quite good if you have a perfect setup and you just want to import them quickly. But seeing as you have the calendar here, that's super simple. This is just a really cool feature that I think a lot more bots should have. Definitely one of my favorite bot UIs ever. On the side here, you go down. This is kind of your profiles. Solid has a really unique way of doing profiles and I absolutely love it. And I will show you how this works. So here you have addresses and you have cards. Now this will be blurred out for you because um, it does actually show the first line of your address uh, and then a country and then it also shows the Visa, MasterCard and then the last four digits of your card so you can kind of quickly see them here 
You can press the plus button on either of these and you can add them as you can see nice Joe Mama there. Um, and I believe here it will show whether it's Visa or MasterCard, whatever. And you can input that. Very, very simple stuff. With address, the same thing. Add an address. You can also change the color of it. This is just something that I think is quite cool. I haven't done that myself, but as you can see here, you can add everything here. It even has catch-all support, which I, I think everyone loves. State code, country, all that stuff. Um, this is more with German stuff, but this is a really good bot for people in Germany because you have snipes. However, me in the UK, I have German addresses, I have reshippers, it works equally fine for me. And snipes, if you are in the UK and botting, you want to get into that EU market, that snipes, it's big. And what I can tell, I'm going to get a lot more into Foot Locker New Region myself. However, the really cool thing about profiles is up here, the combined. So you press the plus here, and this is where you can essentially combine and mix and match addresses and cards and this is just the best thing ever so let's say you wanted it to ship to my germany address this will be blurred out there will be blitz it, it does say my address here uh and then billing let's say you wanted to run that on your main because obviously it, if you're running on your card it has to be billed to your uk address and then the credit card obviously you can then run any cards you want to so you could change the address run on the same card you could have different addresses running on the same card you could keep the billing the same this ability to mix and match it means you don't have to keep on creating profiles and changing the billing address you need to create sh different shipping ones what a good idea i don't know if this is actually in any other bot and then again you can do all the colors up here all very flash i'm a big fan and i like it i don't know i think it's cool i haven't seen many other bots do this it's ju it's just good like it's just smart intelligent design and i i think that's really cool next you can go down here into proxies now proxies this stuff is pretty simple again you press the plus button here and here you can you know name the proxy you can do some testing but i wouldn't recommend that you press the add in the top right you can paste them in here and you can press create and that will create that list here again you can do all the funky stuff up here change the color make it a bit more memorable but we don't want to do that right now again you also have the lists here this is for coupons and accounts you can add all that press the add button all the funky color stuff all good one really cool thing just randomly also has a splash page they call it a browser farm this is where you can use all these proxies and send it to a page so you you could bot easy supply or adidas splash pages within solid if you wanted to just for fun um fair enough the options there if you want to do that you can so it's not actually kind of part of the site list it's just something you can do which is pretty cool and then you have captures here. This is the capture harvester. They say it's only used for Supreme, but I, I don't think they do too well on Supreme. I don't think they're focusing on that at the moment. I would not buy this as a Supreme bot. Uh, but here you can go to the harvester, YouTube or Gmail. I haven't done this. I haven't ran this for Supreme. I would not get this for Supreme, but I haven't tested them. They're probably working on that, although Supreme's kind of dying on resale. So yeah, I wouldn't be looking to buy Supreme bots if I were you. You can then go into the settings down here. And here you just have Discord webhook. It can link in with AYCD auto solve. Then you have two capture, which is what you'll be using for captures on pretty much off everything, off spring. Gmail, here you go, you can sign in. And then here are some quick links that I like to see. Dashboard, wiki, and changelog. Now the wiki is quite outdated, I can't lie. Um, I was looking on here just to check if I was gonna miss anything. Pretty outdated, which is kind of why I'm making this video, just to try and explain stuff. So this is what you can see on the kind of pre-made tasks for you. But if you wanted to run something that they didn't have on here, you can click, change the store, uh, Snipes, On You Go, Soulbox, Supreme, Disney, Offspring, Zalando isn't active at the moment. Then you have Office and All Lab. Now, being from the UK, Office and Offspring are huge. I mean, just for dropping mids, Offspring for the good releases. But having Office for the mids, I mean, it's good money coming through. I don't even record that because I'll just get a ping on the monitor, buy it, sell it, when we move. You also have Soulbox. Now, I'm in the UK. Soulbox no longer ships to the UK because of Brexit. It kind of hurts. But, you know, we move. I've got German addresses. We should have to get around it. Now, Offspring, Office, and I think Disney are both new, as well as Orlab, actually. So I'm not sure how much success there actually is for these sites. But, again, they've added it. They'll be improving it. They've got a really good dev for solid. So here's an example of creating a task on Offspring. As you can see, I'm on Offspring here. Just going to grab a random shoe uh, here. And we're gonna, just going to... You know what? Let's copy the whole link. I could just do the PID. So we go ahead, create tasks. As you can see, we're on Offspring. Paste that in location Milky Way because Offspring's only UK, so a bit of banter there. Um, monitor delay, press next. Here it actually shows you the shoe, says the PID there, which was what I could have copied. 
Then you can select profile, proxies, size, and normal. But that is how you write Offspring. Now, I think Offspring is one that will get a lot better. I'm not too sure how well it is at the moment. There hasn't been a good drop on Offspring. However, I think Solid is going to be one to watch. It has a beautiful UI. It's supporting more sites. Um, Not Supreme, though. I mean, just forget Supreme if you're into that. But yeah, I really think this is a really good EU bot. It will, I think it will go up in value. Yes, the last sale for a renewal... Uh, is was $343. That's about £250. Now, for £250, what a bargain. I mean, you'll be probably watching this later, and it, I mean, it shouldn't be that cheap, really. For what you're getting here, you're getting good sites, a good developer, good updates, beautiful UI, and their success peaks themselves. There was a bit where not really much happened. However, I think they are just going to come back. I think this is a steal of a bot. But yeah, I hope I've explained some things here. If I have, be sure to like the video. Um, I'm trying to do more of these bot reviews. Um... I don't really cop much, so I can't really do live cops, but um, yeah, I'd love to do more of these style of videos, so if you like them, let me know. If anyone wants to give me free bots to review, showcase, whatever, DM me on Discord. It's all down in the description. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.